so yeah, so now you're there. You've you've got your you've got your uh, instructions how to uh, how to show up every day and how to dress. Um, mm-hmm. And they give you your first your first. How many claims did they give you? What was your how many what was your first batch of claims? Uh, I don't remember, um, but I did over the course of that storm. I almost got kicked off that storm, by the way, um, because I was just out there scoping. This is why. I just, I beat the, the horse. It's dead. I'm still beating it. Do not scope more than you can reasonably close that same day because you can, you're, you might just get kicked off the storm. But I got a, they did an open file review on me, my manager. Um, and he's like, Matt, he's like, bring all your files in. He called me, the guy calls me at like 530 in the morning, like every morning, Matthew, we need you to do this. Matthew, you need to do that. Right. And he just rode me and it was good. I'm, and I'm, I'm glad I'm a better, I was a better adjuster for it. Open file review. You need to cancel all your appointments today and come into the office and bring all your files. We're going to do open file review. I was like, okay. So that's what I did. And we went in there and we went through every single one of my files and put, took post-it notes and you need to do this on this one. You need to do this. And I had like 20 files, right? 15 or 20 files that needed to be closed that had scoped. I inspected them, right? But I, they weren't, you know, they were just in various stages of like being completed, mostly just the scope part, right? You need to write estimates on all these, blah, blah, blah. So I just stayed in the office for the whole rest of the day and wrote them up. And then he reviewed them. We sat down again and he went through every single one of them. He's like, oh, it looks good, looks good, looks good. And you fix that real quick. Looks good, looks good. And he didn't fix that one and get back out there and, and don't do this again, right? Um, so I, and again, I had like, I had the benefit and I don't think everybody does on when it was on their first cat back then state farm had, um, what are, what they called RTs, which are reinspector trainers. And they're basically like a QA person, but they would send new people, new IAs with a staff trainer and the trainer showed you the ropes, how this is the state farm way. This is how we want you to do it. And I had two of them and I had them one, the first one was a guy named Kirk and I had him for, I think about a week. And the second one, her, her name was Nancy. No, I had Nancy first because I almost killed her. Kirk was second um, and I had him for about a week. And by the end of that, I was, they were just there looking over my shoulder while I did everything. Talked to the homeowner the whole nine yards, settled up, wrote checks, I mean, everything. And they were like, if you do nothing else, Matt, don't leave the house until you've labeled photos and you've stapled them onto the piece of paper because it was Polaroids back then. Um, right. So, but, but we want you to tabletop these or they, they called it an onsite settlement or something like that. I think all state calls it tabletop anyway. So I've told the, the story where in another video, well, I'll just tell it here. So another reason to like, get to know your gear. I said, that's what I tell people yep. get to know your gear before you go, before you're out there using it. And you're like in the insurance front yard or like with a contractor or with a QA or a manager or whatever is I had a folding ladder that I had never used. You know, I just pulled the wrapper off of it like the day before. And I met the, my RT Nancy out there um, and f- unfolded the ladder and set it up. And we're standing there talking to the homeowner and, and then, or she's talking to the homeowner cause it's my very first one. And she goes, okay, Matt, well, let's go head on up the ladder and take a look at this one. And I put my hand on it. And um, the whole thing folded in the middle and fell over into the bushes. And she's like, you wanted me to climb that, Matt? Um, are you sure you know what you're doing here with the ladder? And so anyway, in that storm, um, I learned by the end of it, I was, I was pretty fast, right? And I was closing them on site and I was doing six, seven, eight a day. But this is writing checks handwriting the diary, you know, you're doing the estimate and exact and you print it out and then you put it into the, the file, but you have to handwrite everything else and you have to hand label like writing with the pen, your the photo labels, right. And staple them onto a photo sheet. All that stuff goes into the, the, the file jacket, write a check, hand write a check, right. And hence the insured and then fill out the register, right. Fill out the, you know, keep whatever. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've written a check. You got to fill that thing out, right? All this stuff. And then these, this thing goes with this. This gets stapled to that, blah, blah, blah. You got to have a copy for the, the agent. Eight a day. Eight of those a day, right? In Chicago, driving all over the place. These days, and I'm just, it's, you guys got it easier. You're going to complain about it. You're going to say, well, they're making us do more and more than ever. No, they're not. 
right? Have you, when was the last time you hand wrote a check or hand wrote the activity diary? You got tokens, you're copying and pasting. If, you, if you're not very fast at that, it's because you're not very good at with computers, right? If it takes you forever right. to label photos, maybe that's maybe you need to learn how to type, right? I know how to type already. I think typing I know. was a huge, you don't know how to type? Nope. Oh, well I did. And for me, it was, it was, a, it was a game changer. <laughs> so anyway, so that storm, but, but it was so stressful and the relief that I felt when I was driving away and put in Chicago in my rear view mirror, uh, was so great that I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to do that again. I'm just going to go back and beg for my job back, which I tried, to, which I did. I did get, I did get my job back. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I went back to LA and I had like twenty five thousand dollars in my account, which was fifty thousand dollars in today's money, right? And just hung out at my at my sister's place in LA through the winter. And I tried to get the, get my job back, but my, my direct manager at Food Network was like, well, you, Matt, you're gonna have to go in and apologize and basically kiss the ring. And I was like, my pride said, I, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna go beg my job back. And I did something to help myself. And if you're gonna make me come apologize, then you're getting a big middle finger from me. And I didn't do it, so. Right. That's just a little insight into my personal attitude. Fact, you can't handle claims without at least one adjuster license. Fact, getting a license usually requires taking tests. Fact, Adjuster Pro helps taking the tests and getting your first licenses a breeze. AdjusterPro.com is your one-stop shop for getting licensed by all states that license adjusters. Think you can just wait until a deployment comes up to apply for this or that license? Think again. When staffing major storm events, these days iFirms will search their adjuster rosters by who has what license. They have a huge storm in Minnesota and you don't have a Minnesota license, you're not even gonna show up in that search, which means you're not even gonna be called. Fact, the busiest adjusters have the most licenses. Get a discount on your next licenses at adjusterpro.com using code ADJUSTERTV at checkout. Fact, YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Fact, click it now before it goes away. Speaking of going away,